I have been coming to the farmer's market for as long as I can remember. For probably more than 15 years. This will be our second summer coming to the farmer's market. I've been coming to the farmer's market since I was a kid. For eight years? 1997 was the first year I came. Shoot, 10 years, 12 years? For about five years now. Since I was in college, and it's been a while. <laughs> Back in the 80s, when Dan Kibler kind of got things started and have really have never stopped coming. I'm not a morning person by nature, but I get here when the market opens because I know that that is really when the variety and the quantity is going to be the best. For strawberries, asparagus, or peaches, it requires that you get up, set your alarm, and get here before the crowd. I always try to get to the market early to avoid the heat and the rush, and usually because I buy things that I might want to go back and plant in my garden. I normally get to the market very early if I'm alone, and it's a little bit later if I'm uh, in tow with kids and the wife. Today we got here a little earlier, around 9 o'clock, but usually it's closer to 10.30. There should be a farmer's market everywhere because it builds community. We have this opportunity to buy our food from people who are within a 50-mile radius and they're growing, producing, selling their own items here. And it's available year round. I really like that it's kind of in the center of the city. We got bikes over the spring, and so this is the first time this year that we rode our bikes here, which was really fun. My mom lives right around the corner, and we walk from our house. I like to come to the farmer's market because I get much money. And you guys have just a ton of programs that help us actually be able to afford the stuff at the farmer's market. And I know I'm getting from good people, some of them who are my friends. I love the relationship. Everybody's so consistent, so kind. They remember your names. There's so many that I know, and I can go get honey or eggs uh, with somebody who I've bought it from for years. Uh, but then a lot of times I meet somebody new who has a new product that I haven't tried, uh, or some new produce that I haven't seen before, and get to actually talk to them about it. It's. It just reminds me of my home, my home country. It truly is the heart of this community. Just the energy that you find at the market, the variety, and how things change from season to season. It not only keeps our local farmers busy and in business, but it also helps me to eat locally, eat in season, and to make sure that I'm getting the freshest possible produce inside of my little one's belly. Every season offers a different kind of bounty. And years ago, I would buy strawberries out of season, but I think there's value in anticipation. So I know that I love butternut squash, and I'm gonna have to wait for it. It's gonna come in September, October, and I'm gonna be ready, along with apples, and then the start of root crops in the wintertime, and greens. You know, we're spring, end of spring, I wanna get some fresh asparagus, some good greens. When we get into summertime, once the melons and the tomatoes start, like, I'm actually salivating right now. And so learning to eat with the seasons, I think, gives us an appreciation for what each season brings, and more of a respect for what our planet provides. I never lived in a place that had such a big farmer's market before, and I think it's such a draw for Columbia so that people know that, you know, we care about sustainability, we care about local produce and healthy eating and activities. I think it's really important to support community agriculture, and so one of the reasons I come here is to buy as many of my fresh produce items as I can from the market to keep supporting these local farmers. I have spent 40 plus years studying the value of good food. That's really what this market does in providing healthful foods, locally building our regional economy, supporting a sense of community, a sense of larger family. That's really what makes a community strong. I keep coming back because the quality is amazing. The food is amazing. The people are amazing. It's knowing that I can come here as a one-stop shop. I don't have to go anywhere else for my groceries. You know, there's so much to do. There's um, food vendors so I can have breakfast or lunch here. Some weeks I missed uh, Saturday. I feel like I didn't make anything. I didn't make any burgers in my week. So I sit in home, feel very sad that I didn't make it. There's always something new and different. I mean, we just discovered ramps a few weeks ago, and who knows what we're going to discover the next time. Getting to see it grow and seeing, meeting new people that are seeing it for the first time, and uh, yeah, just being able to be a part of that growth. 
I've gotten to see all kinds of different changes since we were just in a flat parking lot to moving to the other location and then coming back. So it's been really cool to kind of see everything that's uh, evolved along the way. All the, the workshops that they have and, and what CCUA has done here and the collaboration that goes on and to see folks become who they are and, and what they represent together has just been absolutely special. To provide food that keeps us all healthy as a community, physically and mentally, that is the definition of joy. It's a win-win for everybody, both the vendors and the community. I adore the Columbia Farmer's Market. I cherish the Columbia Farmer's Market. We all need the Columbia Farmer's Market. It's just my Saturday morning. Wow. We do it together, buddy? We love Columbia Farmer's Markets.